preparing yourself for effective visualization. Okay, so now that you have convinced yourself that visualization works and you understand how it can impact your life, how do you even begin to implement it? Where do we even begin? The very first thing that we need to do to make sure that visualization is the most effective thing possible in our lives is to learn how to rid ourselves of the negativity bias. The negativity bias is something that has harmed us probably our whole lives and throughout all of human history. So, what is the negativity bias exactly? The negativity bias is a psychological state that can prioritize negative thoughts and feelings over positive ones. For example, if we experience painful or traumatizing events, those tend to impact us more than things that aren't as extreme or even positive. The way we act tends to be more influenced by the negative events in our lives than by the positive events. It can cause us to view things in a biased light and assume that we are not worthy of the positive lives and circumstances that we most want in our lives. It can also cause us to stop valuing the good things in favor of feeling pain over the bad things. Visualization can work against us if we are not aware of the negativity bias. If we are replaying the bad things again and again, it takes up space in our minds and leads us to having a much harder time attracting the positive situations that we want. We will wallow in the things that hurt us rather than believing that the good things are possible. But that isn't because good things don't happen to us or aren't capable of happening. It's because we are not placing value in the positive things or even allowing ourselves to believe that the positive things are possible. As you can imagine, the negativity bias is one of the most damaging factors in many of our lives. It can prevent us from making progress and cause us to stay trapped in a negative mindset where we almost begin to be relieved when bad things happen to us because our neural pathways have begun to anticipate these things. People can become physically addicted to drama and their own misfortunes to the point that they begin to create more and more negative situations for themselves rather than creating positive situations and moving forward in their lives. Fortunately, the neural pathways are not set in stone and they can be remapped in a way that allows us to believe in the possibility of our own progress and make the changes we need to make to become more productive and successful people. When we are able to overcome the negativity bias, then truly believing in our visualizations is that much easier. So how do we even begin to do this? Well, the first step is to practice mindfulness. Become aware of your destructive patterns and the thoughts that you have that interrupt your ability to focus on the good in your life. Interrupt your bad thought patterns with distractions and reminders of positive things. One of the ways that you can do this effectively is to write gratitude journals. You can also try mindfulness meditations, uplifting conversations with your support network, and looking at pictures of things that make you smile. For example, if you feel yourself spiraling into a negative mood, interrupting that mood with positive images of things that make you happy will eventually decrease the strength of the negative neural pathway in your mind, and you will be less prone to following the negative thoughts, and you will be able to prevent yourself from spiraling into a depression or a mood that is more destructive than constructive. We all have the power to retrain our brains. And in order for visualization to have the greatest impact on our lives, we have to stop doubting that we are worthy of the lives we want. This belief has to be real and strong. And taking care of our negativity bias is a crucial step in effectively paving the way toward a productive and successful life. Now that you are aware of the dangers of the negativity bias, let's jump into some of the techniques that we can use to help us to use visualization to our benefit and manifest the best possible life.